Hi guys, it is uh, it's me again, Rich from Trackspark, uh, with another quick sort of tutorial slash tip. Um, and this one again today is on a uh, composition technique, and we're going to learn how to a good way to do a piano, a house piano riff, um, along with maybe a tiny bit of music theory, just so I can explain myself as I go along. Um, so. Uh, so yeah, let's have a let's have a quick listen to my piano riff uh, and then we'll get into it. Um, let's listen to the piano riff quickly, sorry. sort of the main drop sort of section quickly. <laughs> well, there's quite a lot going on there, but you can sort of see that uh, you heard it earlier and it's, the, you know, it's the root of the of the track itself. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you my sort of little process in terms of how I would approach it with a track like this. I wouldn't always do it this way, but um, what I like to do so is sometimes is um, start with a bass riff. I know that in you know with a house tune like this, use you know building working up from a cool bass riff um, is a good starting point. So. Um, whatever you know, if you're a guitarist, you can work it out on the guitar and then transfer it into MIDI notes, or you know, work do it the best way that you feel most comfortable. You know, just play it in with your MIDI keyboard, or even draw it into a synth. So we'll go into mine here, and all like like, all, like I said, all I've got here is the bass riff. I've doubled it up in octaves. So let's have a quick listen. Solo it. There we go, right? Um, this track is in B minor, um, so just for like keeping, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'm going to drag these notes down to two notes so that we're in A minor, um, because A minor doesn't have any sharps or flats in it. It's literally just all the white notes on the keyboard there. Um, so. Harmony, harmony wise it won't make any difference whatsoever it's literally just uh, two two notes down on the keyboard two steps down um, so what I'm going to do first uh, to create the harmony is put a chord triad on top of this bass line um, so the root third and the fifth is a basic chord triad um, now if I take this my and to just take the fifth octave to create the first note of my triad. So that is uh, an F. So I've got three notes now, which isn't that necessary, but for the purpose of this, it is. Uh, so we're going to go, there's the root note. Now we need the third note. So we've got root. So the one, two, three. So we're going up, another, creating another note, three above, and then the fifth note as well. So we've got root, two, three, four, five. So Got a basic chord triad. Sounds like a prodigy tune, doesn't it? Um, if you like that, then that's great. But what, like I said, I'm going to uh, use. I'm going to keep it in the key of A minor, which means no sharps, no flats. So I'm going to quickly pull down these notes that were on the sharp notes. Delete because it repeats itself twice. It's a four bar loop I've got. It just repeats. I'm just going to delete that second half quickly. And then let's just have a quick listen, make sure. There we go. So we've got the right chords in the right places, no sharps or flats. Now, because it because of the style of the track, uh, there's 
house song house piano riffs are usually quite soulful so uh which means um you know chord extensions and things like that so sevenths and ninths and uh, added ninths things like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this top line quick and take add another note on top so the seventh note so i'm creating the first chord extension so sevenths um but again quickly look this note is on it sharp or a flat I'm just gonna make sure I've got nothing not in the right thing. so all the white notes there we go right starting to sound a little cooler and a little more housey there's a couple of notes I don't like so I don't like these the seventh on top of this first chord and also on top of this chord here so I'm just gonna remove those sound a bit better now second next thing i'm going to do quickly is i'm just going to even out the, uh, the inversions of these chords so if we look here these three are much lower than this so i'm just going to smooth it out a little bit um, but i'm not going to like directly take this up i'm just going to take the bottom two take them up an octave. so it's exactly the same notes but we're just smoothing it out smoothing out the transition between notes a touch i'm going to take this one here which is an f so again, the same notes, just changing the inversion of the chord. So um, now, just quickly, I'm going to maybe play around with the top note, add an extra note or melody or harmony note, uh, just to create <coughs> a little more interest and when I copy it over, a bit of variety. this over and maybe create maybe the second time through create a slightly different uh, variation on the second time through it, somewhere in the top So, I've got a slight variation. This is, again, you can play around with this as much as you like um, and add extra notes in, take them out, smooth it out even more. But this is just a, a quick way of doing it. I mean, to be honest, it sounds quite good as it is. said before you can move these anywhere you want now the harmony will still work you just shift in it and like I said before again we were in B minor so I'm just going to move it back up uh, two steps so that we're in the key of B minor fairly useful it's a technique that I use quite a bit so um, yeah work on your bass riffs and then go from there any questions then just email us cheers guys